All right, I'm going to show you how to use a quick tie, how to identify it, and how to make it fit an OE application with an old tie rod not knowing any of the information about the vehicle. So let's throw this on the bench. I'm going to show you how to measure it. All right. Taking the tie rod assembly, what we want to do is we want to use this card. This is a quick reference card that we give you that helps you identify the minor OD, which I'll show you in just a sec. That minor OD will identify whether it's going to be a lighter duty or a heavier duty red or green quick tie. All right, so we're gonna measure the minor OD, which is the top part of that right there. So we're gonna throw this on. See the red doesn't fit, so the green went on. So now we know it's a green QT967. So that's the tie rod we're gonna be using to replace this one. You can also double check by throwing this little curved edge on the spindle threads there. If it fits, we guarantee it's a green tie rod. What do we do with that now? We take this old tie rod, before we take it apart, what we want to do is we want to actually measure zerk fitting to zerk fitting and use that measurement to expand the new quick tie too. So we got 66 inches. So we're good. Let's put this aside. Let's grab ourselves a green quick tie. We'll throw the green quick tie up on the bench here. And what we're going to do is we're going to measure this and we're going to add the difference and split it in half. So we're gonna basically say this is, let's measure it up. We're 57 inches. So we're gonna need four and a half inches on either side or nine inches in total. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna spin this end out. You know, as we spin it out, you're gonna notice that there's a bunch of fine threads on there. And I'm gonna show you, it'll come all the way out. So real quick, I've already flipped this side and taking it all the way out four and a half inches. So we're at four and a half. And what you'll notice is the tie rod end here seems really far out compared to the OE one, which is perfectly normal and fine. So this is the length of the tie rod end that's actually in the tube. It's about 12 inches long. The one thing to note is that at a certain point, we put this notch in here and we machine it in. So you can only go up to that point to for the tie rod to come out of the tube, and that's the point where you need to stop. One other thing I'm gonna show you real quick. The tube has three splits in it, better clamping force as well. We've made the tube a lot thicker than the OEM one. So once you've got this all the way out to 66 inches, you're good to put this up on the truck. And before you tighten it down, double check, but tighten it down using the instructions that are here, 250 foot-pounds, 60 foot-pounds on the clamp. And it's assembled.